More than a quarter of Lyft's current staff could receive their pink slips this week after the rideshare company's new CEO announced major cuts are imminent. Satluge TV takes a closer look. Chief Executive David Risher will soon be delivering the dreaded news as part of a restructuring to make the rival to rideshare behemoth Uber a, quote, faster and flatter company. With more than 4,000 employees, approximately 1,200 could be losing their jobs following a major round of layoffs late last year. The former Amazon executive says his focus is to do a better job at meeting the needs of its drivers and riders and to bring its fares more in line with its biggest rival. The San Francisco-based company was launched in 2012 by computer programmers Logan Green and John Zimmer. The company quickly grew outside of the Bay Area into major U.S. markets and abroad. The company went public in 2019 and accounted for 30 million riders and 2 million drivers pre-COVID. But a drop in ridership during the pandemic is to blame, as well as an overall belt tightening at Internet firms. Lyft will keep its offices closed on the day the layoffs are made. Lyft plans to use money it saves to keep prices competitive, improve pickup times, and give drivers better earnings. For further developments, keep it tuned to Satluge TV. And for all your headlines and in-depth stories, visit satlugenetwork.com. I'm Leila Gulen. Thank you for watching. Life is not scripted, never foretold. No matter what happens and where it happens, open your eyes and read between the lines and never stop asking questions or wanting to know more. Discover the unknown. Hear the human story. Be impartial. Be courageous. Find the untold story and keep the pioneering spirit alive. Committed to truth. Sotluge Network. Let the truth flow.